morning. Let's see how to do a stem and leaf plot in StatCrunch. Let's look at this problem, which is for a stem and leaf plot. Uh, this one says construct a stem and leaf plot of the test scores 67, 72, 86, 75, 89, 89, 87, 90, 98, and 100. When you construct a stem and leaf plot, you have to put the first digit in the first column. And in this case, you'll notice that they're putting everything in the tens place. So this would actually be a 10 with a zero because this obviously has to come after the 80s and 90s. So we've got 67, that's the only 60 anything in here. So 67, that would work. 65, nope. 67, 67, okay. 72, this would be 72. 72, 72, 72, okay. We got those. Got an 86, 86, yes. 86, 86, 86, okay. 75, now this goes back to the 70s, so this is gonna be a five. So this would be 76. There is no 76 here, so it's not that one. 75, 75, good. 89, here's an 87, let's go with it first. Should have an 87, we're down to these. 86, oh yes, there was an 86. And then we have 87. Uh oh. Now these would he have an 89, 89, and then another 86. And so that would be out of order. These should always, and one thing you can check for, these digits should be listed in order from smallest to largest. So that would have knocked this one out here and this one out here. They were already kicked out, but that's okay. So now we know it's not this one. So we know it's this one, but let me show you a trick. Now this particular problem does not have an option to load these numbers into StatCrunch. So there isn't anything for me to just punch here and get StatCrunch to come up. But if I come over here to question help, and I click on stat crunch. Now about 50% of the time, uh, this the first time it comes up will tell me I have to log into stat crunch. I'm not sure why it does that. I just close it, it uh, and reopen it and it works fine. Don't know why that's going on like that, but I guess it can do what it wants. I'm gonna split the screen here so I can see both. So if I come over here and just type these numbers in, so 67, 72, 86, uh, 75, 89, 89, 87, 90, 98, 100. Okay, there's my numbers. Of course, I should double check them, but if I come over here to graph at stem and leaf, I've only got one column here, so that's kind of a done deal. Uh, where, da, 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 oh, and on the outliers, I want to keep this at none and hit compute. Here's my stem and leaf plot right here. And I could just take this and match it up with one over here and notice that it does match up with this one. So there's my stem and leaf plot. So that's kind of a cheating sort of way to do it, but we're here to use, learn how to use the technology as much as the concepts. So uh, there we go with the stem and leaf plot. Enjoy.
you do know how to, you need, do need to know how to make them, but you don't have to make them from scratch every time. 